beautiful day. Look at the sun in front there. Just parked up on the A832 on the way to Gaylock and probably by the introduction on the screen at the beginning you know I'm going to be climbing a Corbett mountain. I'm on the bike, I'm going to cycle up to a lock and then up, climb up onto the top of this Corbett in Flowerdale. I've been so lucky with weather this week so I'm going to cross over the road now and follow the track for probably about four miles. So I hope you can come along. Should be a fantastic day again. Okay, let's get going. And now a very bumpy start. Shouldn't more, but I hope it gets a bit better up here. And after just a couple of hundred meters riding, I came to a gate and I prayed it wasn't locked. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. The gate's locked. Only joking. Let's go and see what's around this corner. Nice view over there. Just about 10 minutes into the walk, ride, whatever. Just got to get up this big uh, climb here now. Get up on top of that plateau. And after some pushing, riding, riding, pushing, I finally made it onto some level ground. Well, that's the first bit uh, of uphill done. So, track runs right down here, as far as I can see on the map. Around there, so the way up to that Corbett. It's getting warm now. We're in late August as well. No midges, good. That sun's blinding right in front of us. No complaints though. Pushing again. I'm gonna grab a drink now. Just admiring the view back at the end of the this glen where where the slope is that's where I've, I came this morning. So it's probably what mile and off so far. And the tracks winded up here. No, uh, a bit of flat up there. Okay, Flowerdale next. Now back on the bike on a nice stretch of track, I started to make some really good progress. come to a split. That's the other Corbett there. I've actually wild camped that one about three years ago. It was really misty. I came down here after. So right, bit of downhill and just follow this windy path now, a bit of up and down. Good trekking now. Nice breeze and all running this speed. Did I speak too soon? Just, just pushing again a bit. Bike wrecker. For sighting, B. I'm still quite way behind that knoll. I've just looked on the map when it, the path goes around the back of that knoll. Stop to look at this, the grouse stone. Big rock. I'm guessing it's been dropped by a glacier. You probably can see by the speed I'm moving that I'm pushing again. And just when I thought maybe it'd been better coming on foot, it started to level off and the track got wider and I could see the target in front. Views are opening up now over to Torridon. I think that's a Graham in front. That I'll put it on screen. I'm sure it's a Graham that.
but there you can see the seat at Gaylock. Can't be far off reaching the lock now. And after thinking it was plain sailing to the lock, the first obstacle came into view. It's quite deep there. I'm just wondering whether to try and get off over there. We'll go and have a look. As you can probably see, I'm halfway. It's a pretty slippy rock. Yeah, made it. I wouldn't like to cross that in heavy rain. So that's for sure. Leaving the fast flowing burn behind and still climbing on the rough track, it wasn't long before I hit the flat and there was the beautiful sight of the lock in front. Look at that for a view. Just to uh, show you a bit of a view round. That's my climb up there. Now I don't know how to go up this way. I'll just go up to the lock and split it. I'll, I'll see. And after a quick look on the map, I decided on the latter. So I'm going to come back that way down there. So I'm going to walk on this track and split the culvert that way. So it looks a tough climb. That for a view. Wow. On private beach. And even though I was here to climb a mountain, I couldn't resist the sit down for five minutes and enjoy the views over the lock. I'm glad I left the bike. This is pretty um, tough going on it, might break it. Especially back there. Wow. So lucky with weather again. Nearly took cut off point now. Torridon Mountains in the distance, looking south that is from here. Nice breeze picking up. That track goes on for quite a long way, yeah. A couple more minutes down the track, look for a decent route up. Well I'm here, but it looks really steep. I think I'm gonna go and follow that burn up there, onto the top there. Okay, get going. Wow, about halfway up. Just looking at Bean or Ben Jarag, whatever it is, and that's Alligan again, Ben Alligan. With the first Munro and just spin round where I've come from this morning. Look at that for a view. Beautiful, nice breeze. Upwards and onwards. Jump. Plenty of frogs up here. Must be Corbett bagging like me. Jump. Hey 
only way is up for you and me now. I forgot who sung that now. I'm leaving the frog behind. It was one last push up onto the bee line. And there I was finally up on the bee like and the views all around were absolutely stunning and I wasn't even up on the summit. Nearly there, that's my way back. There's the sea, look at that. Gerlock. Over to Loch Marie. And right over, I'm sorry I'm shouting, it's windy, that's Sleok or Sleok, right over there, and then into the Fisher Field. I might be going there this week, as usual, weather permitting. So, okay, I'm gonna get up there now, up onto the summit. Now, on the final push, the wind really picked up. Okay, this is the last bit of us, I think, and then we should be up on the uh, summit. Thinking at the most it would be 15 minutes to the summit, I realised that there was one last sting in the tail to reach the true summit. Well I knew it would 
going to be windy, but this is ridiculous. Okay, I'll go and touch the trick point. Okay, I'm going to have to shout a bit. I'm just going to give you a 360 of the views. I will put it on the screen what mountains I can see and hopefully they are correct. It's so windy, so... This is looking south, southeast now, over the Torridon Mountains. What a view! Really windy. Okay, I'm going to have to get down in a minute. Right, I'm going to get down, this is the way back, along this ridge. One last look north, and then I better get going. Leaving the summit behind, it looked like a really fantastic ridge walk all the way back down to the bag. Once I started to lose altitude, the wind started to ease. One last look where I've just come from before I dive down. Oh, it's sad to leave when it's like this. Slowly making my way down, I reflected on what a fantastic day I'd had back in the Torridon Mountains and Flowerdale and I would definitely come back again. So that was it. After a wonderful day filming in the Flowerdale Forest, it was now back on the bike, down the track, back to the car park, but I will definitely, definitely be back. Thanks again for watching! See you later!